You're so vain. I bet you think the song is about you. You're so vain. I can't see. I'm out of breath from jumping on the bed. As some of you guys may remember, last week I pulled out the letter V from the tin. Second week in a row that I pulled out a friggin' difficult letter. But that seems to be how it's going right now. So hopefully this week I'll pull out an easier letter. I'm really sorry guys. I'm so sorry. I decided I was going to do a video on virginity instantly and then I was like, well what can I talk about that? So I went with vanity. I don't know if I told the guys that, but I have. I don't think I'm very vain. I'm not the kind of person who will wake up an hour and a half early to get myself ready to go out to college. I will climb out of bed five minutes before I'm supposed to leave, chuck some clothes on, wash my hair and walk out. Right, the word vanity, we're going to talk about what that means because I am so bad at doing these videos, so I apologise. I want Urban Dictionary and this one says vain, someone who thinks this song is about them. Vain, excessively proud of their appearance, conceited, arrogant, narcissistic. That sums it up. And then there's a more detailed version of the stereotypical vain people. This is quite long, just warn you now. What vain really is? Someone who cares a lot about themselves and has a mirror in hand at any given time. Cares a lot about looks, always in style, usually comes from a well-off family with loads of money to spend on stupid brand name clothing, Gucci hats and $400 shoes. Can be a girl or a boy. People usually hate them since they feel so comfortable about themselves and others are just jealous. They think that they are the best in everything and that there's always an easy way out because their dad or mum and me... There's a lot of M's in that one. Has a lot of money so they can always run to them. Vain teens usually have it best of things. <laughs> Cash, cars, clothing are easier than others having expensive things to brag about. In short words, full of it, conceited, best friend is the mirror and drugstore and more worships money. That person does not like vain people. The word that kind of fits with vanity the most is narcissistic and so I'm going to give you a bit of a background on where that word came from because it's from Greek mythology. I think. I think that's where it originally came from. But I know that there is a character in Greek mythology called Narcissus however it's pronounced. I've been a bit obsessive with Greek mythology, so we're going to read about Narcissus. When he was a baby, his, his mother asked this seer if her son would live a long life, and they answered, he will if he never knows himself. Nobody understood at the time what that meant. As a youth, Narcissus was so beautiful that many lovers, both men and women, courted him, but he repulsed them all. A nymph named Echo fell in love with him, but she, whose constant chatter had warned Zeus of Hera's approach as he made love to other nymphs, had incurred the punishment of the goddess who had taken from her the power of speech, with the sole exception that she could repeat the last syllable of any word she heard. Narcissus ignored her. She wasted away to a mere voice. The youth, however, was eventually requited for his cruelty. A lover rejected by him prayed to Nemesis, goddess of revenge, pretty freaking awesome, who condemned Narcissus to the contemplation of his own beauty reflected in a pool on Mount Helicon. I think I said that right. The more he looked, the deeper he fell in love with himself. This futile passion held him in its grip as he lay day after day beside the pool until he wasted away and died. He was then turned into a flower. That is the story of Narcissus. So if you're a narcissist or narcissistic, you love yourself way too much. Pretty much, you like to stare at yourself in the reflection and you think you're gorgeous and stuff like that. So I'm definitely not narcissistic. Okay, when I was a kid, I loved myself. I was a vain child. Oh, I could show you. Photo album. Let's see some narcissistic pictures of me. Can I just say, this is probably one of my favourite pictures ever when I met Dopey. There's no reason for me to, me to be showing you this picture because I'm not vain in that picture. But... It's genuinely one of my favourites. <laughs> I was such a poser. Look at me posing. Posing by the freaking Cinderella carriage. I was naturally blonde as well. Look at me! Look! Bloody hell! Look! I... Oh. I still have that smile. I was adorable. What happened? What happened? Apart from in this picture, I'm not... I'm really not attractive in this picture. <laughs> I've, I know a lot 
of really vain people. I know those people who walk past cars and stare at their reflections in the mirrors and windows and just... But it's always very funny when someone just suddenly walks out of the door that's got a mirror on it. One of my friends had that happen to her. My friend Sammy was looking at a reflection in this mirrored door and then someone opened the door and she was like, ah! it was so, it was hysterical. I giggled for ages. Vanity in a way doesn't but does link up with virginity because people who are the most vain are usually the most, also the most confident and are the most pretty and likely to get laid. So that group of popular girls I had at my old school, most of them were vain, most of them were really pretty, um, most of them got laid like two years before they were legally allowed to. I'm really bad at these, aren't I? Wow, I should just stick to friggin' singing and reading fanfiction. Let's skip over onto the topic of virginity because I and drop vanity behind now because otherwise I'm just gonna completely confuse the crap out of everyone who's watching. Virginity used to be a majorly important thing. People are losing their virginities at a lot younger age than legally allowed. I know someone who lost their virginity at the age of 13. I'm not gonna name them. They know who they are. I may tease them about it quite a lot. I have no idea what I am talking about. I do speak a lot of crap sometimes, don't I? There was a 12 year old girl here in England who got pregnant and had a baby with like this boy who was 13 but this 11 year old boy was suspected as a father as well because she chugged them both and it was like what? this happened when I was about 11 actually so I was obviously like who would do something like that? it's disturbing why why why? little innocent me who used to think that the world should be pure before I got in with a group of friends who just dirtied my mind up Dirty did up massively. Tea! Tea shouldn't be too difficult. Tea shouldn't be that hard. That's pretty good. Okay, we have T. T is next week's letter. Someone's gonna make a video about tea, I have a feeling. Like, the drink. Uh, no. <laughs> I feel really bad that I'm the one who picks the letter out because I always get the word and then I'm like, the letter is T, I call this one. And then I make really crappy videos about them. Next week's video. <laughs> I know I said this last week. Next week's video, I will plan next week's video and I will film it before Monday. And hopefully it'll be somewhat decent. I'm really sorry about this. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Next week's letter is T. I don't know if you can see that because it's the light. Yeah, there you go. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more of any of us. I don't blame you if you don't want to see any more of me. And then I will see you guys next week.